Well, parents and former students gathered in front of Cal Allen Middle School early this morning. They were there to protest bullying cases being seen within the school. Parents tell us that it is a growing problem. Our Simone Simpson is following the story and Simone, what's the district trying to do to help curb the issue? Mike, the superintendent says that every time a report on bullying is made, the district initiates an investigation. But to these parents, not enough is being done. Christy Payne's 12 year old son is scared to walk to class. He told his mother the pushing and shoving in the halls has gotten so bad, he wants to end his life. Well, I had to finally do something when my kid told me he didn't want to live anymore. I had to take action. Christy and a few other parents came out to speak up for those who have been silenced by bullies. It's just hard. Like, he's my, he's my baby, and I know he's not innocent. I know he's not innocent. He's had his issues, too, but for him to feel like he doesn't want to live anymore because people are making him feel like he's ugly or he's not good enough or he's worthless is awful. Parents like Megan Unterbrink feel that child suicide has become all too common. As Christians, we're called to help people, and I figured I could, as a Catholic, I could pray at home, or I could come up here and be here um, might help more than simply praying for her and every other family that's dealing with this. Melanie Mokuiki, a former Cal Allen Wildcat herself, lost her best friend to suicide because of bullying. I don't even have a child that goes to Cal Allen anymore. Um, I'm just here because I, it was something that I, I believe these kids don't they don't need to go through it. They go through enough. We spoke with Cal Allen Superintendent Emily Lorenz about what the district is doing to help prevent bullying in schools. She said, quote, at Cal Allen Middle School, students attend assemblies regarding anti-bullying twice per year. In addition, we have a character education program that addresses bullying. The campus also utilizes Pride, a student leadership group to educate other students regarding anti-bullying measures. Lorenz says the district also uses an online system for students and even parents to report claims of bullying. If a bullying report is made using the online system, it immediately notifies campus administration and the superintendent. I wish someone would have done this for me when I was younger for what I'm doing for my kid now. So hopefully it's the right thing. The superintendent also wanted to stress that the online report is not the only mechanism to submit a bullying complaint. Anyone has the option to speak with a staff member, call the campus, or report directly to the central office. Mike? 